Hey everybody, it's the Drunken Bard, and welcome back to another episode of Bard Z. Now, when we last left off, I said I was going to do some uh, some camping and uh, you know picking up some good items, and then uh, and then I'd start recording again. And I do plan on doing that, but I just want to show you guys uh, the secret stash that was over here. Uh, when we first looked in here, we got 20 arrows, and you know that's it, it's nice, but it's not that great. But uh, looky look what, and this is this is like. This is like a one minute. This is like a minute after I stopped the recording last time. Uh, the chest respawned, and this is what was in it. And I haven't touched anything. Look at that. And this is more what I expect from these chests. And if you just kind of stop and just let the gloriousness of what you're what you're witnessing here just kind of just roll over you. Look at this. That is iron armor. Iron sword, enchanted iron sword, and a grenade. Like, this is arguably one of the... Okay, I said this is what I expect from these chests, and it is, but it's arguably one of the best chests I have ever found in the game before. Ever. At any point. So, yeah, um... Mine. All of it is mine, and I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this crap. Look at all this crap I got here. Pants, freaking get those, get that weak pants out of here. All right, yeah. So um, I am going to, like I said, I'm going to uh, cut it off here again, and I'm going to um, camp around a bit. Unless I find an extremely cool chest, I may pop in on that again and show you guys. But um, for the most part, uh, when I see you guys again, I will be fully decked and we'll be ready to head out to uh, Evergreen Manor. So stay tuned for that, guys. Okay, guys, uh, what do you think about this? Look at that. That is good right there. All of this good stuff. And the chests did not disappoint. I have to make that very, very clear. Uh, that chest plate is phenomenal, especially considering how much of it is. Like, these were the iron leggings, and they're almost depleted. And I was hoping to find some more, but it uh, didn't quite work out like that. Um, I've gotten probably five or six iron swords, enough to fully repair this one. I have a spare one over here, and then I have one with smite one and knock, knock back one on it. And I gotta say, this is not the, uh, the enchanted iron sword that I had before. Um, when I first opened that chest, just to, to you guys just a second ago. Um, it's actually a different one, a better one. I pretty much used up uh, the other one, just kind of fighting off zombies and stuff. And I know, you know, oh, using it on zombies. Well, here's the thing. Um, enchanted swords are usually enchanted with um, uh, smite. And that is useless on player characters. Oop, and this chest has respawned. Ugh. Wow. That's actually the second time I've gotten chain leggings in this same chest and which the chain leggings are useless to me right now because I have the iron leggings and the only reason I'm keeping these is because the iron leggings are so low that they may break so I don't really want to sacrifice them I gotta make sure I'm going the right way yes this way okay so um we are out of food Except for Rotten Flesh, we're out of food and we're out of water, so that's kind of the main reason I'm deciding we're going to call it, we're going to call it good here. Uh, the the run up this mountain and uh, the run between the, uh, the chests and everything, it was good. We had a good run here. This was a very, very, very good trip, and I'm very glad that I made the decision to come here. Um, we're going to head off to, uh, we're definitely going to hit up the university one more time. Okay, that did not respond, but uh, ooh. I, it's just gonna. I'm I'm just gonna leave because every time there's an update, like a tip or you know a little pop up there in the corner, it means the chests have respawned, for the most part. That's what it means, and um, I feel like every time I get, you know, around this area of the mountain where I head down, it pops up again. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check one more time for those chests. It's that darn chest fever. I got it bad, but uh, yeah, so let's actually, yeah, there we go. You want to go down one block drops, it's the quickest way down, quickest and safest. Okay, so we're going to hit up the university again, uh, we're going to get some food, we're going to get some water, and then we're going to head off to Evergreen Manor, and uh, just to kind of go over the stuff we've got here, 
Um, some of the stuff I didn't mention. We now have three grenades. Very, very, very nice. We've gotten essentially to the point where I'm just essentially tossing away stone swords as I'm getting them. Just because I have no use for them right now. None whatsoever. I am so well decked out right now with iron that they have really no no use for me. Um, here we have a bow that's enchanted with power one, punch one. Very, very, very nice. Uh, this is going to come in handy. It's just kind of, there's zombies that lurk around the watchtower, so I want to make sure. Oh, and look at that. We didn't even have to hit up the, uh, the university, and we've already got food. Very, very nice. Uh, water is sort of our main priority right now, though, so let's just uh, kind of keep our eyes open for that. Uh, the last time I was actually, when I was uh, camping in that segment you didn't see, um, I actually had to return here to uh, resupply, and I actually found enough ingredients to make uh, cookies, and that came in so, so, so handy. So actually there should be, yep, chest right here. Very nice. I'll take the wheat. I'll leave the other stuff. I don't need that. Um, okay, yeah, let's check here. Cool, I'll take that, and oof. It's getting a little full here. I'll throw this in, I don't need that. It's good, and then we'll go ahead and destroy that. Okay, I hear you, I hear you, Zambies. What do I see you? No, I don't. Okay, there you are. Darn it. I didn't want to take as much damage. I really hate that the zombies, they always seem to be in that one blind spot right behind me. That no matter where I turn, I just, I can't see them. Okay, see, he was doing that. That knockback isn't really seeming to help very much. That's balls. We don't need that. And I didn't grab the water like I said I was going to, but yeah. we'll get it here in a minute. Okay. Uh, last stop. Bing. Nothing. I don't need any of that. Okay. Maybe I'll just kind of swing around again. Just kind of, you know, making rounds essentially. Chest in here. Yes. Good, 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 good. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to... Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to say we're good on food for now. That'll be enough to last us quite a while. That's uh, six uh, food worth of food that we have there, not including rotten flesh. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, um... I'm still... I, I, like, I always uh, hesitate when I'm leaving somewhere. I, I really like camping to be honest. Oh, no, you know what I do want to do? I want to see if I can find one more wheat, and then we could um, use up a inventory slot. Uh, we could use up just one instead of two if we had cookies, and we'd be absolutely set for food. Oh, jeez. He scared me there. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Jeez, a lot of zombies here. There's that sword I threw away. Apple. I have no room for it. I'll throw the I'll throw the rotten flesh away. I can do that. And cross your fingers. <gasps> no. I remember the first time I fell in here, I like freaked out because I thought it was essentially like, sort of like a player trap. Oh yes. Okay, I'll take this and I will take this. Cool. Okay, let's balls. Let me out. Um, okay, let's hit up uh, the crafting table. We'll make some cookies, and then we will be on our way. And I am going to have to kind of make sure I'm watching my time here. I don't want this episode to run too long. Uh, the goal of this episode is to hopefully... Yeah. Um, arrows now. Bleh. The goal of this episode is to... Come on. Oh, can I reach that crafting table? Yes, yes I can. All right, the goal is to just get to Evergreen Manor. That's essentially just the goal of this episode. Man, look at all of this food. Food for days, that's what we're doing. 
Okay, and I have to do it. I have to check the, for the chest on the other side, just chest fever. Okay, um, the, but, but, uh, what was I? No, no, let me go. We'll go ahead and, yeah, we'll just eat a cookie. Okay, the chest has respawned. Rotten flesh. No thanks. Okay, we are good to go. We have water, we have food, we have more and better weapons than I've pretty much ever had. Blech, go away. Okay, um. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is the front entrance, I believe. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> if you remember what we looked like when we came here originally, I think we were decked out with our wooden sword and our leather armor. And, and now look at this. That is something to be afraid of. Be afraid, be very afraid. Uh, let's actually, I'm, I'm feeling really good right now. Let's, uh, just go ahead and real quick slug back a potion. Just take care of those hearts. I would just, I'd rather have the inventory space right now, just because we're so full up. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna go past this, uh, this giant tree over here. Uh, this is how you get to, um, Evergreen, Evergreen Manor. And, as I recall, it's a bit of a walk. Like, getting to the university, it's essentially just right there. But this is a bit of a walk. So, uh, yeah, you're just going to have to bear with me a little bit here. Uh, some of the stuff we found in there before. Oh, you know what? Darn. I just realized, I think I recorded an episode at Evergreen Manor. And now the trick is remembering if I scrapped it or not. Which is just, ugh. Because, again, I, I record so many episodes, but I only post a fraction of them. Maybe 20%. Ugh, what a, what a, ah, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I really don't recall. So I'm just going to, and I do apologize if this is all just retracing old steps here. Um, but I do want to uh, hit it up and just, you know, see what's going on there. I doubt we're going to find as good of loot as we have in the uh, the secret stash and the bunker on top of the mountain. I doubt anything's going to be even close to that. Maybe some chain. Maybe, maybe that's it. But uh, other than that, you know, it's a good place. It's a good, it's a good place to feel pretty secure, at least from player characters, because the odds of a player character being near that location with a button, it's fairly low. It really is. And then, yep, we are getting near uh, snowy, the snowy biome territory. So I think the general idea, the, the general plan I have as of right now is we're going to hit up Evergreen, maybe just for five minutes. Heck, maybe we may finish it off in this episode. Who knows? Um, so we're going to hit it up just for a little bit, and then um, we're going to leave. Uh, we're going to hit up the, uh, the dam that's behind it. And then after that, we're going to, I think we'll, we'll see if we can't um, go to Paloster. I think that would be a pretty solid plan. Paloster is a pretty good place. Because uh, I imagine by that time, we won't have as much food. Speak of the devil. Uh, we won't have as much food by that point. So maybe it would be a better idea to hit up Paloster. Because they do have lots of food there. It's probably one of the best places to get food. And then, as for after that, you know, goodness only knows. Goodness only knows. Um, we're at a point right now where I don't want to say we don't have to worry about player characters because you always have to worry about player characters. Um, I'd actually say we won't. We don't really have to worry about zombies so much anymore. Um, player characters, they yeah, we we will have to worry about them, but and I I, I don't want to be you know. <laughs> I don't want to, like, be all over overconfident or anything, but if I meet another player character... Oh, balls. If I meet another player character, I think I'm going to have the upper hand. Just... I'm just saying. Just the way I am right now. I think I'm going to have the upper hand. 
So, you know, who knows? We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah, let's do a run through of chests. Um, I thought I heard a zombie. I'm like really on edge again. New places, getting on edge. Um, chain boots, I'll take those. It would be kind of a waste to use them right away, so maybe I'll just hold on to those for a second. Oh, look, chain leggings, how nice, how terribly useful. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, yeah. Ugh, I, you know what, I am making a decision now. I'm not even gonna take that sugar. And sugar is very useful because it gives you such a great speed boost. Zombies. It does give you such a great speed boost, but I never remember to use it. I never ever do. Maybe it's something I should use like at the beginning of a battle. Maybe that would be best. I thought I saw another chest. Where was that other chest I saw? Is it in here? Okay, yeah. Can I even use that? Yeah, it's, I guess that I'm just refilling everything for the most part. Don't need that. And honestly, this may be it. I think I may just uh, leave right now. Maybe it would be best. Uh, okay, yep. I think I'm actually just going to leave now just because... That's essentially, like, if this was our first time coming to, um, if this was your first time coming here and you didn't have any, any really, really good armor or anything, this is a very good kind of demonstration of what you would probably find here. Uh, you know, lots of chain, uh, probably some stone swords, probably an iron sword at some point, and I'm not dissing this place, I'm not saying it's a bad place or anything, I'm just saying that as of right now it's not we're higher above than this place can help us essentially that's really all i'm saying and uh yeah um oop. hello zambas you want some of this mm. maybe maybe that's a tactic i can use like jumping while i'm i'm swinging my sword maybe that's something i can do and i know there was another zombie where there you are <laughs> Okay. I. I don't like your face. I don't like anything about it. Okay. Yep. Okay. It took me a while when I first came in here, first time. I um didn't have another button to get out, and I was like freaking out, and I was like, oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that, and I was, I stayed here for hours, honestly. It was like two hours I was here, and I was just like, because um, I didn't want to like research the answer, and you know, maybe I should, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have my hands on the controls because they're really, really cold right now. Okay, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, first time I was here, I didn't have a button to get out, and I was kind of freaking out, and then I came in here. I came in here, and I noticed this. Eh? So you hit that button, you slide down here, and the funny part of the story is you can see right at the end there, there's a button. The first time I came in here, there was no button. The game had a bug or a glitch. It had glitched on me, and the button was gone. It just wasn't there. And even if it was there, but somehow invisible, I would have hit it because I tore this entire... And you can see there's not much here. There really isn't. I, like, went back up here. Uh, the piston is already retracted. And even if it didn't retract, you know, you can't jump out because there's too much space here with no ladders. So, uh, and I looked in there. I'm like, oh, looking for everything. I'm like, there's got to be a way out. And I could only conclude that it was like the most dastardly player trap in the world. And it was so terrible because um, I had to, what did I do? I think I just ran. I just ran back and forth. And this was, 
I don't know how long I was trapped in here. I just ran back and forth until I depleted my hunger or my thirst, whichever was first. And then I just died of, uh, of hunger or whatever. And that was my way to get out. Yes. Okay. So we're actually going to... There. And we actually come out uh, behind the Evergreen Manor here. And this is the dam I was talking about. And there are some secrets here. Let's actually slide in here if we can. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay. There's actually some secrets in here. Again... Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I can't remember if I posted the video or we were here or if we if I didn't. I feel like we I feel like I did. I feel like I did. Um and I, I think I may actually be getting my cities mixed up. I think I may be getting my cities mixed up because that sign said to Whitehaven. And I thought it was Paloster. There we go. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah, so uh, we'll hit up Whitehaven. You know, that's that's fine with me. I, I This place has always... Like boggled my mind. I know there's a secret here. I imagine somewhere like in here or, you know, it, over there, there's a door. And I think these these are all weighted pressure plates. So I think you have to throw a certain amount of items on one of these plates, and then it'll open up a secret and let you go. In fact, I'm going to actually have to research this because I do want to know. But other than that, and you got like daylight sensors and stuff, just weird stuff in here. And then there is a chest somewhere. I think it's in this final room. Yes. Oh, couple chests. Uh, chain chest plate. You know, that would have been really nice to have. Um, I do like this because this gives you glass bottles. Very, very ni nice. Oh, okay. No shift clicking. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. As long as you can get it. It's fine with me. Uh, this I think you have to yeah, get in here. Oh, how nice. How nice. Um, You know what? I'm just going to celebrate having this potion by drinking a potion. Awesome. Okay. There we go. We got our instant health twos up there. Very, very cool. Now, I think I may... And this galls me a little bit just because I don't like leaving nice armor behind. I may just leave that just because I can't justify having it in my inventory i'll keep the leggings because my iron leggings are about to break but other than that you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep it anything else like the chest i don't need the chest plate Ooh, we did chest plates bane of my existence let's drink some water here because we're gonna be surrounded by water so we can just get some more okay very cool can we reach the water? Let me out. Oh yeah, I should probably end off the video here pretty soon. Not sure, again, how long I've been going. It's probably been quite a while. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. My, my sense of time is completely just backwards right now. Oh. Okay, I'm just I'm just collecting some water here, so we'll be good later. Good. And I think I'll just kind of stand over here just so I know where we are. Here we go. This I think this is a nice spot to to end the uh the episode on. So on this note, uh we have done very, very well. I've hit up uh two very distinct places. Um I'm very or technically three if you consider the mountain top and the university two different places so this was has been a very successful series of episodes so far um yeah i'm just gonna have to kind of uh, research what i'm doing oh and look at that look at that um 
yeah, that is a good thing. That's the universe definitely telling me to wrap it up here. Um, yeah, so I don't think I have any more points to make. Uh, just join me on the next episode. Uh, maybe we'll make a uh, team up with somebody in the north. Uh, maybe a high level team up because we'll be so decked. Who knows? Uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs>